Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee? Trail cam dam, what did he see? A beaver, a badger, a fox or a bee? Hello and welcome. We are back. We are back. Right. We're going to do another trail cam review. The company is called let me just get into my phone Blaze Video Blaze Video have sent me a trail cam here it is in the box I'm going to unbox it now show you through it See, let's see what you get in the box uh, I've already done the settings I've already been in the box I've already done the settings to set it up tonight um, I've got food to tempt the animals monkey nuts the badgers love monkey nuts the squirrels love monkey Every, everything loves a monkey nut doesn't it I've got a, a bag of roasted monkey nuts is there any difference I don't know but there's some of them left so I'll throw them down and a special treat I've spent a fortune these were two pound a bag I got two bags so I've brought one bag out with me these are walnuts there'll be people out there say you're going to throw them on ground for animals. I love them. They're my favourite. But no, these are for the animals. The squirrels, the um, badgers, the birds, the mice, the rats. Whatever comes along, I don't care. I'm going to love them. So we're going to set this up. But first, let's have a look at this new camera from Blaze Video. So this might not be easy because I haven't brought the big tripod. You're on a tiny little tripod resting on a log at the moment in the middle of the woods. Here is the box, which is better than a lot of boxes. I'll give it that. Most of them just come in a plain box. Open it up and let's see what you get. So, you get a trail camera. We'll put that aside for now. You get an antennae, which is interesting. We'll come back to that as well. You get instructions. And in this side, you tend to get, yep, yeah, you get a, a strap-on tree strap. It's a pretty cheap one, I'll be honest, but it's a strap. You know, a lot of them come like that. And a US, ooh. Okay, this is a strange one. I've never known what you call these. But this is the same connector as my Canon uh, camera. Can you see the end of that? You don't get that very often. Why all companies aren't using Type-C nowadays, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so that's that. One thing I'm noticing you're missing out of this box is... You know one of these wall mounts? So a lot of them come with a little wall mount in there which you can screw to a fence, something like that. This doesn't have one. So what you get in the box is pretty basic. But this is what it's all about. So I haven't given you a model number or anything like that. All I've said is the company are called Blaze Video. I haven't got a model number as such on this. So, I'm just going to tell you what it says on their website of what it is. The price at the moment in the UK is £85.99 including tax. Reduced from £121.99. Uh, sorry, £121.11. It's calling it a camouflage wireless Bluetooth Wi-Fi wildlife trail camera night vision motion activated 32 megapixels 1296p videos waterproof for hunting home security in fact i've got the model number here it's an a280w so that's what we're working with that's what the trail camera is now first thing i've noticed it's got an antenna now, for an antenna, antenna to be on a trail camera, I've never known that unless it's a cellular trail camera. 
this isn't a cellular trail camera so why it needs that I don't know but as long as it does the job and it takes great pictures we're happy so I've screwed that on let's have a look inside let's have a look at the opening I've never seen this before but I like it I do like this that is a proper sturdy instead of having one at the top one at the bottom it's just one in the middle and a big long one I like that I like that a lot uh, batteries what does it take it takes eight batteries they do recommend lithium and one good thing about them they actually recommend I think it's I haven't got the notes on me at the moment I think it's Panasonic they actually tell you which batteries they do advise you to use in this which is a good thing so I've got eight in there one thing I do like about it as well is they are all very very easy to get in there some of them I literally have to get a pen knife to get them back out again these are very very they're quite loose they're very easy to get in and out so battery wise I'm happy with the actual screen this is completely different to anything I've had before normally you get an off a, uh, I don't know the words um, it's like a setup in the middle and then an on this is just literally as off and on it has a menu button a start button an OK an up a down and uh, side to side USB in the bottom which is that strange connector I showed you earlier so you could get your files off using that but like most trail cameras what we tend to do is just take the uh, SD card out and put that into his computer I do like the fact it's a standard SD card and not a micro SD card that's a positive just turn it on a second every single thing you can do you just pr press menu and they're all in the same place whereas some of them you have to go left and right through different menus and up and down this they're all in one line which is a positive you've got to give them credit for that but I think mainly you need to get the app get this on your app and do the settings on your app it's far easier trust me and you can then see where you play what you're looking at when you've placed the camera um, to see if you've got the best um, angle of the ground so overall yeah it's very small it's very compact it's a lovely color and now I've got my notes um, yes they do recommend eight AA alkaline or lithium you can actually have eight alkaline or lithium batteries they do say you can use either which is good um, but they do recommend energizer lithium batteries you can use rechargeable batteries which is what I'm using um, but because and I really like this about the instructions and the company they're just being honest they've said uh, your rechargeables are 1.2 volts and not 1.5 volts so they won't last as long you can use them but they won't last as long I like that I also well it's a massive plus but do you need it SD card you can have up to 512 gigabyte SD card which is incredible I've not I can't remember any other trail cam which you can have such a big SD card in there um, I find 32 gigabytes is plenty for me that's all I need because I'm you know I don't leave them out in the woods for long but if you were leaving it out there for a long time 512 gigabytes that's a plus so the app is called trail cam mobile I'll go into that in a moment uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so the Bluetooth is to find uh, the camera from your phone the Wi-Fi is to change the settings 
and playback and preview so all that explains what that is it doesn't mean you can be five miles away and when an animal comes it's going to send a, a video to your phone it ain't going to do that it has 36 infra i should get the camera now shouldn't i because i'm talking about things you can actually see on the camera it has got 36 infrared no glow leds can you see them at the top them little blips no glows which is 940 nm which basically means it's invisible to humans and animals some of them are low glow which certain animals can still see them especially foxes um, but this should be invisible to all animals but sometimes when they are invisible to all animals it uh, the quality isn't quite as good so we're gonna have to wait and see for that uh, 2.4 inch color screen I've put it down again now I'm not picking it up again three modes motion detecting motion detection time-lapse and hybrid I don't know what hybrid is I need to do a time-lapse on a trail cam I've never done one I should have done one last night because we had a thunderstorm it would have been fantastic um, but yeah motion detection that's all I, I tend to do trigger time of 0.1 to 0.5 seconds which I find quite odd is it 0.1 or is it 0.5 that's quite a big difference um, some people say it doesn't matter you know 0.4 of a second the difference between 0.1 and 0.5 isn't much is it less than half of a second isn't much but if it's a bird it is a lot a bird can fly very fast uh, certain animals can they can be in and out of shot before the camera starts um, and it does say you could actually leave it in the field for eight months so I'm guessing that would be with fully charged, brand new Energizer lithium batteries. Right, that's all the facts I have got. Shall we actually do some trail camming now? We want some trail camming, don't we? Luckily for you, I'm going to put this out and then instantly you're going to see the results. I have to wait a few days. I'm just coming to put the strap on now and this is another strange um, thing the company have done but I'm guessing it's going to work instead of having just a, a, a sticking out bit here where you put the you all know what I'm saying instead of a sticky out bit where you put the strap through you put it through there it comes out there and then I'm guessing we're going through there it comes down there which is easy to do so I'm not gonna knock it but strange it's just strange okay we've got it ready let's get this on a tree so this is where I am putting it this is where I do most of my experiments for trail cam reviews because you're actually sat at the moment on like a mini table banquet table I call it and I put all the nuts on there and the animals come and eat them off the table but tonight I think I'm gonna leave them on the floor but hey let's get this wrapped around the tree and then what we're gonna to have to do is get my phone and uh, find the app which I've already downloaded and we'll take it from there yeah I would say that's good enough for now let's close that clasp we'll leave it there for now and let's get this app up and running instead of having the banquet table I'm planning on putting the food down here and scattering it properly okay a bit close to the camera so it's going to be about three feet away from the camera 
in fact I might do it over the entire area um, I have connected the app if I can just try and lay you down there for a moment so I've connected to the app now it is saying battery 36% now these are rechargeable batteries I've just put in which I thought were fully charged but I did charge them a good three four week ago so maybe they've lost some charge I don't know but 36% I think I'm hoping will be enough for this experiment uh, the SD card is empty it's, it's telling me temperature 30 degrees Celsius it certainly ain't 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit it is about in here at the moment in this shade it's probably about 18 degrees Celsius um, so yeah you can do all your settings here which I've mentioned they're all on the camera but you can do it all on your phone camera let's go to camera so now it is showing the view I am getting from that so I've placed oh, I've placed the food in the area I want the camera to be pointing so now I need to play it around with the camera get it in position get it where I'm happy nope too far that's it so they're now in the middle of the shot but they are too low so I need to I'm going to put some sticks behind this to point it down will one be enough perfect that's all I need so you can see on the screen there the food is right in the middle I'm going to scatter it all around this area um, and this is a good test for the camera as well because sometimes when they're too low or too close the brightness of the um, LEDs on the picture quality it just doesn't it's too bright so an animal could come up here and it just looks bright white it's too close so I'm not gonna go closer than three feet I'm gonna scatter it over this area but make sure it is in view of the camera which looking at this yeah that's perfect that's perfect right time to lay some food I will take my table up which I have got pegged down because uh, the badgers uh, when they're here would knock this over very very easily so I'm going to take that away and I'm going to scatter all this around I'm looking at their walnuts I think the squirrel is going to have the best day of his life two pound they cost me let me get them on the floor scatter them around and I'll come back to you I don't eat nuts. I'm not a, a nut eater. But I do like them. I don't know why I don't eat more of them. It's probably the price. They're just so expensive, aren't they? Right, I have scattered them from literally one foot away from the camera to eight or nine foot away from the camera. Let's go even further. that is can you see them all over the ground there perfect if we don't get some fantastic footage from that I do not know how to get it so I'm going to open it I do like this clasp I do it just feels so more secure and all I have to do I believe is press start start we should I don't like oh it does it's saying welcome Oh, hang on, do I have to press it again? Ready for... Right. I believe that is now recording. Ugh. So let me shut that. I can't do it with one hand. 
give me a second that is now recording anything in front of there we're gonna get pictures now what I am also going to do is set up a cellular trail camera the more expensive ones I've got one of them I'm gonna set one of them up just so I can keep an eye on what's going on and know when to come back and collect this camera so I'm just gonna put this probably on this tree or this tree and uh, yeah we will come back to this experiment and see how good this camera is I must just point out something I forgot it's not 4k it has I can't remember what it is it's a strange setting is it 1280 something um, P videos but that's only 20 frames per second that's not good enough if you're making videos and you want to show videos on YouTube you need 30, 30 frames a second so to have 30 frames a second it has to be in 1080p which is what I've got it on hopefully if the camera's any good the footage will still be fantastic right leave it there we'll come back when we've had crocodiles and antelope and rhinoceroses and all that coming to eat these nuts it has now been two nights I've had this out had all that food can you remember I put it all here spent a fortune on that every single bit is gone so I should be excited to see what's on there but I'm not because I know exactly what's on there because I've got another camera over here which tells me cellular wise um, what's been here squirrel and mainly mice honestly I've got pictures of like five mice all scattering around so it's my fault because the fields have been done the mice have come into this forest into this wood so what I've come back to do now with my trusty really bad friend Neil is I'm gonna put the table back put the food on the table stop the mice so the only thing what can eat it, it now is the squirrels or something bigger the badgers haven't been the deers haven't been but they're gonna come back and we're gonna get it on there Oh, the fox the fox has just disappeared it's like this wood has just become dead but there has been a lot of work going on here we've just noticed the farmer has been cutting the edges around it so it might be something to do with that it might have scared them away for a few days and it did throw it down for 24 hours yesterday so we'll set it up again see how we get on we are up and running again so the camera was here but I thought I'll go for a different angle I always put it in the same place I, I thought I looked down on it a bit this time um, but not too much because I don't just want to see the top of a squirrel uh, I'm hoping that angle will be okay I've put it through the app it looks pretty good you can just see the feet you can just see above the table so anything which comes we're gonna get but the mice can't get up there they keep trying but they can't so that has I think about 450 clips on it from two nights and it will be mainly mice because they have taken everything but I'm trying to feed the squirrels because it's the time of year now where the squirrels are taking the nuts and they're starting to bury them ready for the winter um, so we've gone for straightforward peanuts uh, walnuts which are definitely one of their favorites and monkey nuts as we call them here in the UK and on this side I've just put a tiny drizzle of treacle um, just to see if the sweetness makes them prefer this side to that side so the squirrel is going to have a proper banquet tonight hopefully we're going to get a fox a deer or a badger but if not hey it is what it is back in the woods to collect the camera 
quite excited actually because I know for a fact there has been a giant and I mean a giant rat um, go in front of that camera I also know oh I'm out of breath badgers were out last night in front of the camera and a buzzard yesterday morning now when I left this camera it was only on 36% battery left um, so I'm just hoping it's managed for two more days I'm, I'm guessing not but we'll see hoping it's managed for two more days and got all that footage let's have a look well to start with the table is pretty much empty now so I'll be taking that down but here is the camera has it got any battery left? I don't think it will have I don't see how it possibly can to be honest let's try turning it off and on well there's power there is battery so it looks like we've got away with it we have got how many images have we got? this is going to be incredible to see um, playback ok 892 images in four days now I know most of that is going to be mice but let's get this back see what we've got on there I'm very excited so I've edited this together starting with the squirrel so this is the first day before the table came out I know it was all squirrels and mice but let's just see what he gets up to He's having a good sniff around before he picks one up. I don't, I don't think he can believe how lucky he is at the moment. He's not as wary anymore. Just, oh, that one looks better. He's spoilt for choice. So yeah, just getting a few shots of him. The picture quality is pretty good. You can see the sunlight is a bit bright there on the uh, left hand side. Oh, I had to throw that in. Did you see that mouse jump in the air then? That was fantastic. And there's another one. Mice absolutely everywhere at the moment. The fields have all been cut so all the mice have run into the woods. Which they don't mind. They're quite happy in there. There's three or four in that picture. I don't know if you can see the eyes in the background. They're all over the place. And you can hear the owl there in the background, that's wonderful. I've never got the owl on picture though. So then, this is after I came back and filled up the um, bird table to stop the mice getting on it. But did it stop the mice getting on it? You will have to wait and see. So the squirrel is having a party. They can't believe how lucky he is. The robin doesn't know what to do with that lot. The squirrel works there at dawn. Yeah, it's quite a good picture quality, especially in the dark. There you see the mouse trying to get up the uh, table, but can't. That happened all night long. They never gave up, but they kept trying. Everything on that table is too big for the robin. I feel sorry for him. I'll have to put some seed out for him next time, I think. Magpie comes and have a, has a look. Notice how the magpie then threw one on the floor. They tend to throw it on the floor because they feel safer eating off the floor rather than off the table. They think it's some kind of trap. Now, I did put a bit of syrup on the food on the closest to the camera. The food furthest away didn't have syrup on. I just wondered if they'd prefer it sweet or not. But look, we have actually got a mouse has made his way up there. Unbelievable. I've had this uh, table out with food on about 
20 days in total and that is the first time a mouse has got up and look at this king rat is trying to get up we've got one rat sorry queen rat i i really think she's pregnant she's just too fat but can she get up Oh, got up eventually look at the size of that thing I know rats are vermin I know people don't like them I know a lot of people are scared of them but oh, <laughs> they do fascinate me and then the badger at last the badger has come we haven't seen the badger for a good week or two since they started cutting the fields but he's made his way there now this is a baby badger just born this year but grown up very quickly but you can see most of the nuts are going from the far side so they do prefer it without the syrup on top so I won't be using syrup in future The sound quality on this camera is fantastic. You can hear every crunch from them badges, it's amazing. I like the way, especially at night, how the all picture lights up exactly the same. You haven't got any bright spots. <laughs> not much left on there now I think this is the last night we left it out I think the badger cleared up I have actually ordered a lot more of this food bigger bags which are coming today I think because, uh, you know, we're coming up to autumn now. I really want to feed the squirrels and the badgers, fatten them up ready for winter. Because you will find badgers tend to be really skinny at the beginning of the year and they work on getting fat towards the end. So the squirrels just come back in the morning and he's a bit devastated because that table was nearly full when he left it last night. The squirrel doesn't work through the night. It does sleep like humans. So that is the trail camera from Blaze Video. Uh, what do I think of it? Okay, let's start with the negatives. Um, firstly, in the highest resolution, it isn't 4K. I do like to have 4K. Secondly, in the highest resolution, which I think was it 1096p or something like that on video, um, it's only 20 frames per second. I always work in 30 frames per second. So that's another slight negative. Um, I think that's about all the negatives. I still don't understand why you need this on the outside. I've never had that with a trail camera which isn't cellular. But let's move on to the positives. The positives, I absolutely adore um, this. This is a really sturdy clasp. I'm liking that a lot. Um, I love the fact the SD card can go up to, was it 500 gigabytes or something ridiculous? That's unheard of. I've never had that in a trail camera before. Very, very good. The triggering of this camera, I think I had 800 clips in four days. Don't get me wrong, mainly mice. Um, I obviously didn't show you most of the clips, um, but it's a very sen it's a very good sensitive uh, trigger in this. It, it works. If anything goes past it, it's going to get it. On top of that, the picture quality themselves, especially at night time, very good, very good. The light, that's what's always important with night time trail cameraing. Trail cameraing is that a word? Um, the light for me has to be all around the screen rather than just like a spotlight in the middle um, Because it can be too bright on the subject whereas if it's all the way around you get a good picture and we got good pictures with this 
so overall it's a fantastic trail camera i'm very happy with it um a little expensive maybe to say it isn't 4k but maybe the price is going to come down um, maybe it's going to be updated to 4k in the future i don't know but uh, i would like to thank the company for sending me it anyway it will be added to my collection i will be using this one i do like it a lot thank you all for watching now before i go can i just say stay tuned to the channel i've ordered some new things i've already told you i've got special squirrel food coming i've got like a it's like a blend of nuts for the squirrels and a big bag of monkey nuts and i know the badgers love them as well and obviously all the mice and rats and anything else they all love them but i've also got something really special coming i've got i'm gonna have to tell you i can't keep it in a squirrel maze a squirrel maze so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that i've also got like a little i'm gonna call it a mouse maze there is mice out there at the moment I don't mind feeding mice as long as they're well away from where I am. Um, they're not on the campsite, they're in the middle of the woods, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, it's like a little obstacle course, it's actually for birds, but I'm going to put it out, I'm going to stick nuts to different parts and the mice are going to have to climb it to get the food. So, coming up very soon. Right, you all have a wonderful day. If you want one, link in the description blaze video see you all tomorrow bye bye trail cam dam what did he see a beaver a badger a fox or a bee trail cam dam what did he see a beaver a badger a fox or a bee